Whether it's assisting with planting row crops and distributing fertilizers or tracking dairy cow's milk production, computers are in daily use on the farm. So when farmers speak, social media is a natural way to get the word out. I actually run two Facebook pages. One is for the farm, for Richlands Dairy Farm, and I use that to let people know kind of just what's going on on the farm. Um, I also use it, we started a pumpkin patch and corn maze this last fall, so as a way to tell customers, you know, we're open today, these are our hours. Um, but also let people know how much work goes into dairy farming and what life is like on the dairy farm. So, and then the second one that I run is for Dinwiddie Young Farmers, um, and that one I spend a little more time on because I use that to help educate people about agriculture as a whole. Many farmers believe the public has very little understanding of what it takes to farm successfully in today's economic climate. They're consistently <laughs> battling old stereotypes the way things on the farm used to be. Virginia Farm Bureau young farmers want the public to know that things have changed on the farm in a good way. I mean, one thing that I do try to do through my Facebook page is tell the story of agriculture, give, give it a genuine face. And so I would say that for me, u utilizing social media and being able to do that, to tell my story and tell other farmers' stories, is huge. Other farmers find that social media is a great way to connect with their customers. Jonathan Cavan raises beef cattle, burley tobacco, and about 15 acres of fresh market vegetables in Lee County in the far southwestern tip of Virginia. I've had a personal Facebook account for years and this was, was sitting there on the couch one night and decided let's try one for the farm. And about 30 minutes later one was set up for the farm and uh, we have an administrator set up on it on the farm to where there's only certain people that can access it and so, certain things can go on it. But uh, it was very simple to do and, and it's been a very good tool for us to, uh, to use for our, for our commodities. Social media is, is, is a tool that we all can use. Um, where I'm at, I'm in a very rural area. But my, I can be able to stand on my platform and educate people that are miles and miles away that I never can see every day. So if I take that from the, if I take that as a platform, I'll say maybe that they can just, uh, we all can realize it's a way we can communicate our ideas to other people all around the globe. All types of farming operations can benefit from social media. College-run farms in Surrey County has thousands of followers on their Facebook pages. We are a pick-your-own farm, and so we have customers who come and pick strawberries, blueberries, pumpkins, and other vegetables. So for us, actually, Facebook is probably our primary marketing tool. It is the best way for us to communicate information with our customers about our hours of operation, what might be available every day for picking, um, pricing, all of that sort of thing. So we really heavily rely on Facebook and we have grown our following um, over the years and we have about 4,500 people who who will look at our Facebook page. We have a website as well which we have which we keep updated but I really do feel like people rely mostly on our Facebook page. Just like growing crops or raising livestock require adapting to change, so does social media. Some young farmers are now making their own videos to have a greater impact on viewers. I recently posted a video about a snow day on the farm because cons people were asking me, hey, how are the cows doing in the cold and the snow? So I thought, I'll make a video. So I made a video and posted it, and it, within a day, over a thousand people had watched it. Um, it had been shared something like 26 times. This is Coley Jones from Richlands Dairy Farm, and as you can see, it's a snowy day here in Southside Virginia. So one of the first things I do when I get here in the morning is check this group. Uh, they're the ones that I'm expecting to calve in the next uh, two to three weeks or so. Um, so since I know the weather's been bad, we've been bringing them in at night. So, and then last thing I do before I go home is walk through and see if I think anybody's going to calve. Videos, I think, are a real good way to be able to connect consumers. Pictures are nice, but it's just a picture. I mean, who, who are you? You're just another person. But through videos, you get to hear me. You get to see me. I can show you my farm. I can show you how the cows are doing. So videos are a very important part of what I do to help educate people about agriculture. Whether it's to sell produce or explain modern farm practices, the good news is farmers now have the tools to tell their own story to the public through social media and these young farmers believe this role will only grow in years to come. From Dinwiddie County, this is Dave Miller.